is up everybody we are back again with a new character reveal this time um it's not kuma like we all thought uh namco threw us a curveball and gave us dragon off um so yeah so since i wasn't brainstorming onto us for dragon off um things that could happen let's see uh i don't even know man like the trailer well the preview trailer showed that there was like white like snowy effects right so maybe he has like an install with snow, maybe, or maybe that snow effect was just for like the rage art. Hopefully it's not, but who knows? Um, as far as like expanding on the character, like he already had really cool combo routes, so I don't know exactly how they're gonna expand on that. Um, hell, maybe they'll they'll do an entirely different thing and turn him into a grappler, right? Because he already has a lot of throws. He he has the throw mixups. He has one for each. He's just he's, uh, escape, right? Um, maybe they expand on that, give him like unbreakable throws and heat. Um, who knows? I honestly have no idea. Character was always fun to use, but I just never got into using him. Um, but yeah, so let's hop right into this little Peggy little. 16. Yeah, I wonder what they're gonna do. Like they've gone crazy with all the other characters, so who knows what they'll do to him. Get ready for the next battle. Eight. Makes sense, New right? Oh, we got Challenger. Still crawling. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I wonder if he'll talk. <laughs> or, Okay, the engager or two. New low. Is that a new wall standing one four? That's a combo route. Oh, he can cross dash after. Oh, the off the knee, and it resplats in a new wall. Okay, oh, not to go this White angel of death. Yo, Ace Ventura. What? Um, first, there. The stage has a crossover explosion. It's like the police stage. The heat smash is a double fucking floor bouncing thing. Okay. Oh! Okay, so he has the same gimmick Nina has, where the throws kill white life. It's just like the last one. Yeah, all they did was just like, add an extra hit and they just added snow effects to it. That's pretty whack. Overall, the character looks dope though. Yeah. But yeah. Overall, um, I like the, the things they did, right? So, granted, like I'll talk more about it in the breakdown section, but like, okay, from what I saw, a new wall standing one, one, 1-4 animation, right? That went into a crouch dash. Which is going to open up a lot of uh, combo routes now. It's like before he was, he just had to do the 4-3-1 cancels, right? 4-3-2, 4-3-2. Um, okay, so then... They added... Like, I, his crouch throw was unbreakable, right? And he engaged her. And he got it free off the four three that connected. Man, that's a lot to take in. And then like the throw from the little crouchy animation that he has was a white life the leader. Just similar to Nina, which Nina has that a lot in her multi throws. Um a lot of the multi throws will flash black and white, and when that flash happens, it kills any white life that you had saved so he has the same gimmick i guess you can call it but he has the same thing there um it, there was a move that looked like a running move that was like a kick that was also a heat engager i have to look at, at it in the slow motion but it looked weird it looked like it was like a running ass kick kind of thing. and then hit on hit it turned into a heat dash and then 
And then the the four 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 the knee back throw the air now that that was kind of interesting that three wall splat it's crazy all right anyways so let me stop rambling and break this down in the resolve and I'll be right back for the in depth breakdown and we are back so let's hop right into it. Okay, so there, forward for two, well, well, actually that's the wild running two, is a heat engager with a new hatchet kick. Ooh, okay. So plus on block, hatchet kick. Ooh, that's chunky plus frames, holy cow. And then the two one in, into a crouch dash. Right? Plus two one. Yeah, wow. Okay, so that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna open up a lot of pressure for him. Okay, so down two still there. Okay, so that while standing, yeah, one four has a new animation entirely. It's all, it goes into a knee now, right? So while standing one, or is it a full crouch down forward one? Huh, it looks like a mid though, right? So down two. So it goes into a crouch dash and then the counter hit slide still does the same thing, okay. Okay, one more time, down two, while standing one, four, crouch dash, three. And then I'll counter hit, you get the throw. Okay, while standing two, four, four, three. Then down four, three. All right, hold on. Four, four, three, down four, three, three, one, four. I think it's three, one, four, or the three, two, four. Four, three. No, it's four, four, three. That's down forward three, three, one, four. Okay. Like nothing really new here. It's just showing us the combo routes, right? Well, that kick is new right there. And then the down forward three causes that little flip tornado, that mini tornado effect. Oh, wow. Yeah, so crouch dash installs everywhere apparently. That's, it's a good way to like open up aggression routes for dragon off in the end and then that ender is crazy and then forward forward four the the fact that this re-wall splats is crazy and then it's down three two one plus two so back four two crouch dash two that string is already really good, so now it's gonna be a pain. All right, that's a good buff though. This wall in there though is so good. All right, so this interaction kind of makes sense, right? Because the Ravens and um, well, Raven and Dragonov had a had a thing back then, back in like Tekken Five, I think it was, or Tekken Six. They had like an interaction. Okay, so this stage has wall explosions. I was not expecting that. And not only that, it's the the crossover explosions, like the Peru stage. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so Hell Sweep, Instant Tornadoes. Okay, he sidestep right. Four, four, uh, is that Crouch Dash 4? I don't, I, don't, I don't play Dragon off that much, so... I keep saying it's forward, forward, four. Maybe it's Crouch Dash 4. So that's forward four three, forward one plus two, which is the elbow wall splats explodes, and then he does a running three. Okay, that I do know. So hell sweep. Oh, and it's a power crush too. Yeah, well they showed in the beginning that it was a power crush. Okay. And then the heat burst. This is back one plus two. No, no, it, is it back one plus two? No, that's just a normal one plus two. And then running three. Okay. Back four three. And then the heat smash, which is essentially a wall running three into a wall running one into a shoulder. <laughs> Looks cool. So back four three is a heat engager. Interesting. That's a good one, actually. Shoot. 
considering it's a hit confirmable with decent startup, decent tracking, that's a that's a good one. Yeah, so four, three on hit gives a free crouch throw by the looks of it. And it's unbreakable. Because all the crouch dash the crouch throws are unbreakable. And then he hit, he has the white life gimmick. Okay. So if it's this follows suit to how Azucena's crouch crouch yeah, crouch throw works, it's zero on on what like when you actually connect the heat engager throw. And then he does a wall standing one into a crouch dash, well, into the little snake dash thingy, right? So four or three, crouch dash, heat engager. This entire situation is zero, right? And then he does a wall standing one, crouch dash, the throw, which is most likely unbreakable. And then this white animation is because it de depletes your white health like Nina's do. This whole sequence is so good. While standing one, crouch dash, throw. And then white life gone. Okay, so that's that move. It looks like a running move though. Right? Or maybe not. Oh man, there he links everything that, he, that, he, that they show off, right? So the new move is a heat dash. So it's a launcher. So forward, four, four, while standing one, four, crouch dash two, tornadoes, into forward three, shoulder. So that's essentially how his combo route is going to be going. That's probably the optimal route, because the forward, four, four is a chunky hit. Yeah, that's probably the main combo route. And then while running two, no, actually, is that one? No, is that one forward forward two? Because it looks slightly different. He has too many moves that look the same. And then this rage art, I don't know, it's kind of underwhelming. It's just a rehash of the Tekken 7 one with a little snow effect at the end. <laughs> so, okay, final opinions on this character. So. It looks he, I like the changes they made. They included some of the, the, the grappler's buffs that they gave all the care all the cast, right? And so the crouch dash the crouch throw, unbreakable probably. Um, and then it's on top of it a heat engager and an attack throw off the knee that re wall splats. That that's gonna be big. Um, it's gonna just spike his damage output at the walls. Um, his multi throw is essentially like Nina's, where it depletes the white life, so it, it goes along with the assassin background, right? And then all these new combo rats that opened up with the wall standing one three crouch dash, and um, the way that the down forward three homing move works in the in combos, where it does like that mini mini tornado within the tornado combo kind of thing. So overall, it looks dope. Um, I like the fact that he hasn't said a single word the entire time. It's just all grunts. So they 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 stayed with the with the motif of Dragon Off, right? Um, yeah, like overall, it's cool. Aside from the rage art, like it's buffs all around by the looks of it. Um, which I'm pretty sure is going to make a lot of Dragon Off players very happy. Uh, yeah, so guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, like always, I appreciate your time, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.